another early one this morning for the third straight video in a row. I'm going to Carson Coffee. This time instead of going with Antonio and with the Savon, I'm actually going with two of my other friends, uh, Ian and Jeremiah. This video, as you guys can tell by the title, this car got tuned. This video is going to be a little bit different than what, like, the what I was planning to do for my tuning video because the plans changed. Originally, I was going to get this tuned, this car tuned by someone local. Um, I will not mention names, but everybody I was talking to was saying not to get it tuned by him because his tunes aren't the greatest in the world. So I just decided to I decided to get my car tuned by RS Entropy out of uh, Florida. And if you guys don't know who that is, he is a Nissan and Infinity tuner, and he specializes in VQs. So he's the guy who tuned my car. So it's actually a really good tune. So with this tune that I got, I actually have four maps. I have just a base performance map. I have a performance and verbal map. I have a performance with pops and flames. It's literally what the title says on my on my tune. And then my fourth map is an economy mode. So I'm currently on my verbal map. Um, I'll give you guys a like an example of how this thing sounds when it pops. Verbal map's not like crazy or anything. When I get like a little bit loud, higher in the RPM, the verbal's a little bit louder, but they're not like crazy, crazy loud, but it's like a map that I can use to drive like around town every day because the pop one, I, I can, but I don't want to be that person who drives like that every single day. Um, but, but this is the verbal's. So like this is how it works. If I hold this button and I push this one time, oops, that's the wrong button. If I hold this button and I push this one time and let go, my little set light will blink once. That, if I do twice, same thing. Since I, reason it does that is because I have the factory cruise control. Honestly, on the way up here, I'll just do the big pops so you guys can hear what they sound like. They're ridiculous, just so you guys are aware. But, so I don't get in trouble, because I don't know if there's cops around, but. Oops. Flame map time. Uprev software sucks. It's, Uprev software is the worst thing in the world. It, so basically when I was tuning this car, I had to, every time I had a flash, I had a flash in my ECU every time he sent me a revision. But every time he sent me a revision and I had to close out of the program and load it, it didn't want to work. biggest gain that I actually got from this car was a lot of torque um, I got my since I did get my it is a remote tune I did ask just to see like what he thought my Z would make since I couldn't do a dyno tune and I was expecting him to say like 260 because that's about 
the average that a Z, an AZ makes once it's tuned is about around 260 wheel. Uh, especially since I have a DE. But he told me that my car's making, he said he's anywhere between the range of 275 to 290 is what he told me that my Z is probably making, which I was pretty surprised about because that's a lot for an NAZ. Yeah, I love this thing. Torque, torque though is the, the number one thing I noticed I gained out of my tune. I have a, it, this car has a lot of torque now. But, um, yeah. Other than the tune, the new addition to the car, not much has really happened with this. The only other thing that's happened is I did get a carbon hood. Um, it's not in the greatest of shape. I have clips that I filmed when I want to go pick it up. It was actually a Stevon's old hood. I'll throw those clips in right now. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, so this is kind of a random video that I didn't think was gonna actually happen today. I was expecting to make this like the last one. Uh, in a couple of weeks, um, the Stevon, I'm actually, I'm actually here at Esteban's house right now. Uh, we're actually going to be putting something on his car, but uh, stay tuned for that. After we put something on his car, my car is actually getting far from his old car. If I show you right now, you guys will know exactly what I'm getting. Yeah, I drove here without my hood. Uh, I'm actually getting his old, hood, uh, his old carbon fiber hood on his car, and he bought a new one. His new one's right there in the garage. Yeah, he hasn't even opened his hood yet, so we're gonna, you'll see his new one and he'll, I'll get a new one too. So this is actually the hood I'm gonna be getting for my car. The price I'm paying for this, it, I couldn't beat it and I didn't want to buy a brand new one, so I'm fine with it. As you guys could tell by this, you probably know exactly what hood this is if you're a Z guy. If you don't, then you just got to wait. I better not skip. If you skip, I'm gonna be mad because I know most of you guys don't watch my whole videos. But like I said, he's actually the second owner of that hood. So I'm gonna be the third one. I'm hoping I can fix it. Um, I'm pretty sure I can get it looking somewhat good. I have a wing on my car that I fixed, so yeah. He's just getting straight into it. He's just opening, he's just going ahead. He's been sitting here for a couple hours. I know, you sent a picture in our group chat and then I was just expecting it. I thought you were already going to have it open. I thought you were already going to have it on your I, car. I thought about it, but I was like, no, I'm going to have wait. a little bit of patience. Uh, yeah, let's put this down. You might want to lay it down flat. Yeah, I'm just actually a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Oh, uh, you missed some tape on the bottom yeah, side. Yeah, I just punched it. Um, you see how they packaged it well? Woo! Fresh carbon news. Oh my god. I didn't want to scan it up. This hood is actually way nicer in person than in the pictures. In the pictures, the vents on it are huge, but in person, they're not nearly as aggressive as I thought they were. They're still aggressive, but it's not. Here, I'll just show you guys. So this is the hood he got. It's the Renegade hood from Fly One Motorsport. The, in pictures, this like center V, it like points out to like here, it looks like, but in person, it doesn't. It actually looks really, really good in person. I'm actually excited to see what it looks like on his Z. No one can't contain himself. He's already taking his other one off.
first or you want to do mine first? You can do yours, we're already here. That's way different. Okay, update for you guys. I spent all day sanding this thing. Um, I got I got all of the cracks out. I got all of the sun fading out. I just washed it and I just gotta take it off and paint it, but I couldn't get the oxidation out. Um, so it's still, oh, come on Lucas. I couldn't get the oxidation out of this, so it's still yellow. If I want to take that out, I'm probably gonna just take it to a body shop to get it out. I got it out in some spots. So like here I got it out. But then like, if you go over here, it's still yellow. Could I get it out? Yes, but it would just take hours and hours and hours of sanding and I don't want to ruin the carbon myself. So I'm probably gonna end up just taking this hood to a body shop and just having them sand it and get all the oxidation out. But for now, this should be fine. Other than that, I actually redid these headlights again. So instead of having the DRL, it just was solid white took these apart or put a smaller one and it's an rgb just like the halos so now they actually they use the same app that i had before but now the whole thing is an rgb which i absolutely love like i think that's that should that's what i should have done originally but yeah like all the modes everything works i have the clips of these two also throw those clips in at the end. God, it's so bright outside. I'm actually gonna be fixing an issue with those things. Those things right there. Yeah, the headlights I made, um, I kind of broke them. Let me explain. A few months ago, someone wanted to take pictures of this and we wanted to go to the top of the San Diego Crest, which is local to me here in New Mexico. And it was raining that day and we forgot that when it rains down here, it snows up there. So I'm about three quarters of the way up and I get stuck in snow and the snow is kicking up and it completely just ruined my headlights. Yeah. So I can't even use, I haven't even been able to use like the stuff that I custom made into them. So because of that, I have to rebuild them. So what broke is actually this one right here. This halo right here, like it, it, it just it doesn't work the led that's like right here on this side that one went out and because it went out that one flickers colors no matter what i do well whereas that one stays like at a color whatever color i set it to so because of that it's because of that issue i just i haven't used them at all and I made that eventful thing. I haven't even used them. Um, let me show you guys the stuff that I got to fix them. Now, I just want to point this out, make this clear. None of this was actually art the stuff that I bought. This was actually all just user error and my fault since the back of my housing, since the wires I have running, they're running through like where it would be covered. I was kicking snow all up into my he headlight and it just, it fried the wire. But also since I decided that like, I have to fix that issue anyways with that one. Might as well just redo the whole, if I have to take them apart to replace the halo, might as well just redo them again. I actually just went ahead and bought. Oh crap. I have to redo both of them, because this one's bigger. Nice. I thought they'd send me an 80. Well, they sent me the wrong thing. So I guess I'm redoing both of them. I was only gonna do the redo the one, Halo. But I mean, I'm taking them apart anyway, so I'm gonna have to. This is their fault, they sent me the wrong thing. I had 80 millimeter Halos and they just sent me 90s. Great. So you guys know how my headlights have the sequential turn signal that's attached to that DRL light? Yeah, I'm changing that too. So, originally that was cool, but they're stuck at white and they only turn amber. And when I turn my turn signals on, they blink way too quick and I don't know how to fix that. So what I bought is I actually bought a new module for everything. 
This one's intimidating. It's way smaller than the other one. So like here's the Bluetooth module now. But it's basically like a big huge relay that hooks up and it has the same type of stuff. But it this one will allow my turn signals to be on my halos and the DRLs. The DRLs that I have on there currently are just some like Amazon ones. Um, this time I actually bought some nice fancy RGB ones that will match the halos. So whatever color I change the halo to, the DRL will also change, which that's a plus. So yeah, I'm gonna get to taking those he headlights off and then we'll start, um, I'll take them apart and we'll redo them again. I forgot how hard it was to take headlights apart. So after an hour and a half of struggling, I finally got my second one apart. Yes, I'm sitting on the floor in my room. My passenger one's already done. And I had to, when I took the DRL off, I accidentally stripped some of the paint off. So I painted it again. And my housings, I had, or my bezels, I had painted gloss black originally. And this time I accidentally painted it flat black. But I don't think it looks bad. It gives it a different contrast this time around. So I'm gonna continue to take this one apart and then once I take this one apart, ruin my carpet in the meantime. But I'm gonna continue to take this one apart Wow, these are actually different than the last ones. So these halos they sent me are actually different than the other ones I had. I mean, I know that they're they're a little bigger for starters, but these ones you can feel every individual LED. Like if you're gonna look at that, you can see it. This one has like a clear diffuser over it, so you don't notice it, which. I actually like that, that's a lot better. It's a good 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 quality move. Okay, it started raining and I started this. Okay, it started raining and I decided that I wanted to put them back on and put everything back together while it was raining. They actually don't look that much different. I actually kind of like the way this looks better with just how it's on the bottom. It just makes it look a lot cleaner than how it was before. But the cool thing is, this still uses the same exact Bluetooth controller that the last one was on, so nothing really changed. I'm gonna go super dark for a second. Now just so you guys can see too, instead of just the halo changing color, the DRL changes color as well. And that's going, they're both going at the same time. And now that it's just way more uniform, I think it looks a lot better. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.